Hello, welcome back to Suki's Pilates all over workout for you today. You might want some weight, one kilogram to three kilograms, not too much. Remember Pilates is all about your body's own resistance. But if you want to join me now, you can use your weights as well. Okay, so standing with your feet hip distance apart. It's a rather cold day here in South Africa today. So just looking down at your feet, make sure they're facing towards me. And then just shaking the wrists out, shake the shoulders out where you're feeling tight. Okay, and then what I want you to do is draw your tummy navel in, so tilt your pelvis towards me, draw your tummy navel in from a level of zero to 10, to about level four, so you can just feel that those abs are contracted. Now turn your toes out like Charlie Chaplin, so that you, your heels are facing together, and then you're just gonna begin by just raising the arms and then just taking them down. So just raising just to shoulder height. Now we're gonna just gonna lift our uh, heels off the ground just to warm through these calves. The toes are turned out and we're just breathing. So it's just a nice little warm up. Okay, so just keep going with this. And we've got 15 and then down and 14. So how high can you lift those heels? If you want to challenge yourself, 12. Stay up on the heels now. 11. So stay up, warm those calves up as well. 10 and then squeeze your bum at the top. Nine, breathe. Eight, and breathe. Seven, breathe. Six, and breathe. Stay up on those tippy toes. Five, and breathe. Keep your balance. Four, and breathe. Three, so you're going to pulse for me here. Two, last one, so stay here. Now give me little pulses up on those tippy toes, 20, 90, 80, 17, draw your shoulders back into their normal position, 14, you can feel those inner thighs working as well, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now hold it here, now just flip your palms up, to, palms up towards the ceiling for me, hold it for 10 seconds, 9, can you come down, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on, well done. Okay, so change the position of your feet so they're facing towards me. Just take a deep breath, inhale, just look up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, just come forward, let you come over a tree trunk, and then let your head relax. Just stay here. Deep breath in, inhale, and then exhale, just coming all the way up for me. Nice and slowly, and give that back a good stretch out, shoulders back, go again, deep breath, inhale, exhale, come up, hold it here, deep breath, inhale, exhale, and then just take it up, shoulders back, okay, so imagine that you've got a clock face on the floor, you take your feet out into a 10 and 2 position, you're going to come down into a squat for me, okay, now, you're going to take the weight if you've got a weight, but if you haven't, it's fine. You're just going to take your hands, clasp them together, and then without changing the position of your waist, okay? So you're not coming up. You are going to stay still, but you're just keeping your core strong. So it's pulled in. Your pelvis is tilted towards me, and we're just going to stay apart. So you stay down. You're coming forwards. I feel like isolation and back. Come forwards and breathe. And come forward. So if you've got a weight, you can use a weight for this. Now, can you come down a bit more? So you just got 10 left. Stay down. The thighs are now warming up. Nine. I know. Eight. Seven. Breathe. Six. Five. So really stay in that pot. Four. Three. Stay down. Two, now you're gonna go the other way. One, so reverse that circle, but stay down. Nine, hold on to those abdominals. Eight, and seven, and six, and breathe. And five, breathe. Four left. Three, two, last one, one. Now stay here with those palms together. Now you're just going to come up, so you're lifting that heel and then we take it down. Nine, and down. Eight, and down. Now let's let our shoulder blades relax. Seven, and down. Six, breathe, and down. Five, down. Four, 
four left, breathe. Three, two, now can you believe both of the feet forward? So come up, both feet stay down. Now give me little pulses for 10. Nine, eight, bend in all here. Seven, six, five, four, breathe. Three, two, one. Hold 10 seconds if you've got the weight, hold on to them. Shoulders back, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, well done, shake it out. Good, okay. So this time, you are gonna come onto, I'll show you this way, you're gonna come onto your right leg, okay? So your left leg is back and my left arm, so if you've got a weight here, you can just use the weight, okay? This back leg is, is the one that's gonna move. You're gonna take your other arm, okay? Keep it still, so the knee that's forward is the leg that's still. And then all we're gonna do is we're just coming up and down. So you don't need a weight for this, 19. Just a couple of pointers, 18, just make sure that your knee is just tracking over the ankle. 17, the shoulders are relaxed. 16, and breathe. 15, now as you come, just squeeze the butt. 12, the bum. 11, breathe. And 10. And 9. And 8, so are those abs pulled in, you feel that nice stretch, 7. Just watch that knee, six, doesn't come over the toe. Five, this arm is staying still. Four, breathe. Three, now watch. Two, you're gonna take those arms up above the head, take the arms, palms facing in together, now give me little pulses for 20, 90, 80, 70, 16, stay here, tilt that pelvis towards me, 40, 30, 12, 11, let your shoulders relax, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here, take the palms together in prayer position, and you're gonna take the elbows, so you are hinging from the elbows up and down. Work in the triceps, 20. 19, and breathe. 18, 17, so squeeze those palms, 15 together, and if you've got a weight, brilliant, 40. 30, you've got 12, 11, you should be shaking by now, 10, I am, 9, don't forget about those abdominals, don't let them go, 8, and 7, and 6, breathe, shoulders back, fire, so no hunching through those shoulders, 4, and breathe, 3, 2, this is your last one, 1, now stay here, stay down here for me. Now just lift those palms up, take the arms back, hold it for 10, 9, 8, is your knee tracking over your toe? It shouldn't be, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, can you get down, 1, and take it forward, stretch out those legs, well done, we've got the other side today. So that left leg comes forward, if you've got the weight or just the palm, the right leg is back and then we're just going up and down, 20, so again, Make sure 19 that your pelvis, 18 is tilted, abdominals pulled into level four, 17 breathe, 16 so those bum cheeks should be shaking now, 14 breathe, 13, you've got 12, 11, so this arm look, 10 is staying still, it's staying static. Nine, we're just concentrating on that one arm. Eight and breathe. Seven, breathe. Six, five left. You've got four, you've got three, are you ready? Two, last one. One, take those palms up, give me those little pulses, 20. Now let your scapula go home, then go into its normal position. 15, don't hunch, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now let's take those palms together, shall we? We take it back and we squeeze for 20, 19, so look straight ahead of you, 18, and you are hinging from the elbows. Squeeze those palms together, and as I say, if you want to add a weight, you can. 15, breathe. 14 and breathe, 13, you've got 12, 
seven, keep going, ten of those abs in, nine, so you can feel those thighs working, eight, and seven, and six, breathe, five left, you've got four, and three, get ready to hold, two, static hold, one, just take those palms together, shoulders back, hold it there for me for ten, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, bone up, bone up, well done. Okay, shake those legs out. So, you are gonna come down onto the ground for me, grab some water if you need to. So I'll just quickly demonstrate this one for you. So this is, a, this is tries and chest, okay? It's a really nice one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna take that right arm out, but you're bringing the left hand in towards the knee and then we just take it back. So the arm goes out and the other one comes in. That makes sense. So it's out and in. So try and bring that elbow close in towards your knee. And you see what we're doing. So we're going out. So we take it out. Good. And if you want to make it harder, you can come into full. But good luck to you. You've got 40. So the one arm goes out, 13. And then I want you just to push 12. You can see I'm just lifting my fingers. 11, so I'm really getting that isolation. 10, breathe. And nine, breathe. My core is tight. Eight, as I push down, because that's where my work is coming in. Seven. Six. Five. Get that oxygen to the muscle. Four left. Are you warming up now? Three, I'm regretting wearing this top now. Two, last one. And one, take it back and just shake it out. Just circle through those wrists. Okay, so we're going to cut it down. You're going to give me 15 now, okay? So shoulders are back. We're going to go again. So taking it under. So we take it out for 15. 14, breathe. 13. You've got 12. 11, so that arm goes out and the other one comes in, 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, breathe, 4, 3, 2, last one. And one, take it out and give it a little circle through those wrists and circle the other way. Just take the palms out back as if you're going to say stop and then tilt forwards. And then we're going to go the other way. Breathe in and breathe out and then just circle in through those wrists. So you're going to give me another 10. We'll have another 10. So left hand under the body, right hand comes out. So we take it out for 10. And nine, don't forget to bring that elbow, eight, close in, towards the knee, seven, so you're getting that tricep burn as well. Six, breathe. And five, breathe. And four, so as I say, if you wanna take it up, three, two, and one and take it back into child's pose well done okay back it give it a little stretch and then we're going to just circle through those wrists circle the other way and then from here you're going to take your palms so they're facing in together and we're going to go into our full plank okay for 60 seconds so you're drawing those abdominals in as tight as possible so on a scale of zero to ten the abs are pulled in at level ten everything is nice and stiff so you're just going to take it and hold it here for me 60 second plank so just a couple of pointers, just making sure that your elbows are just trapping slightly or in line with your shoulders. Keep going for me. Head is in line with the spine, the abs are tight. So try not to sink within the shoulder blades, you're pushing up. Everything is as tight as possible. You've just got 40 seconds. 38, 37, 36, breathe. 34, 33, 32, 31. Just 30, 9, 28, come on, you can do it, 7, 26, breathe, 5, 24, 23, 22, 21. Now we just got 20 left. 
80, 70 left, 50, 40, 30, 12 shoulders back, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, take it down back into child's pose, just give it a little stretch out and you reach as far forward as you can, so staying in this position, now I'm going to give you alternatives to this, so the first one is you're just going to give me knee taps, okay? So you're just taking the knee up and up, push back. So this is the alternate, okay? The harder one on this one is here, so you're in full plank, and you're just going to tap the, the knee down and the other knee. So you just gentle tap down and the other way. So you're not sinking into that mat. So your alternative is the other way. So it's here and here. You're still getting work through those tummy levers. Okay, so keep going. You just got 14, breathe. 30, hold on to those abdominals. 12, 11, shoulders back. You've got 10, and nine, breathe. And eight, and seven, no gripping. Six with the forearms. Five, don't sink through those shoulders. Four, thumbs down. Three, two, last one. One, take it back into child pose, give it a little stretch. Okay, so you're going to give me another set of that one, all right? So here's your alternative. So you're just here and here. Okay, let's go for 20. So again, just the word 90, that my palms are facing in 70. Like I'm holding a trinket box. 15, my abs are in at level 10, 14, don't let them go. 13, and try not to sink through your shoulders. 12, push back, take it all through the core. Breathe, nine, eight left. You just got seven, you've got six, and five, keep going. Four, three, take a break. If you're starting to get tired, two, and just join back in, and one, take it down. Well done, back into child's pose, give it a stretch. Okay, from here, you're gonna come up both of the hands, just make sure your hands are directly in line with the shoulders, and I want you to come up onto the tips of your toes, and I just want you to hold this now, just hold it. Now, we're just gonna do a shoulder tap. Your abs are tight. Eight, seven, modification. Six, is this? Five, so we're really turning those arms. Four, three, Two, try to keep those hips still. One, I can feel mine are moving. We've got 10, so we're gonna try and stabilize them. Nine, there we go. Eight, seven, breathe. Six, tap. Five, and tap. Four, tap. Three, two, that's one. One, and take it back, well done. Okay, so coming onto your side, take your water, don't forget your water. Important to stay hydrated. You're going to come into a side plank for me, okay? We're going to do modifications on these planks. So your first one is just your good old-fashioned side plank to here. Feeling heat in the hips, you're just going to come onto the one knee. Or next, you can take that arm up. It's entirely up to you. Or take it to here. We're going for 60 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's go. So I'm just making sure, 90, that my hand, 80, 70, is not strained, 60. 15, I'm really concentrating on these abs. 14, these obliques as well. 12, 11, I say abs, but it's 10, 9, 8, breathe, 7, 6, you're going to take it over, 5, now if you want to make it harder, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 20, 80, 70, 16, breathe, 40, 13, 12, breathe, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last 20. 19. So if you want to modify, take it onto the knee. 18. My shoulder is burning as well. 70. 16. Breathe. 40. 13. 12. 10. 8. 6. 4. 3. 2 and 1, take it down, well done, give that shoulder a little shake out, okay, so we're coming onto the other side, elbow in line with that shoulder, so I'm not taking any pressure through my fist, we're going to come up, here's your modification, you can just hold it here, take a breather in between, we'll take it up, let's go, for 20, 90, 
80, 17, push up 60, 15, breathe, 30, 12, 11, breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe, 4, 3, 2, and 1, over for 20, 80, 70, 60, forgot to lift my leg, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, watch this arm, 3, 2, and 1, go, 20, 80, 70, 16, breathe, 40, 30, 12, and breathe, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 1, take it down, well done, relax, good, okay, taking it back into that child's pose, just to give that back a stretch out, so we're just going to take our toes up, and I just want you to stretch through that lower back, giving it a good old stretch there, and then tilting that pelvis up towards the ceiling, draw those shoulders away from the ears, stay here and just think about that nice stretch, okay, so drawing those abs in. Now, nice back stretch, so your head is down, okay, again, those of you with the neck and shoulder problems, please be careful, back problems, fusions, don't take it up too high. So you are just going to wiggle your bum from side to side, your chin is, is tucked into your chest, your abdominals are drawn in at level 10, we're going to take a deep breath, we're going to inhale, exhale, lift the head, lift the shoulders, the arms and the legs. Now really concentrate, it's not about how high you lift, it's about really feeling those, that back getting stronger, holding it here, take a deep breath in, inhale, and then exhale and just take it down. I really want you to concentrate on getting that middle finger down towards your heels, okay? So, drawing those abdominals in as tight as possible, so level 10, breathe in through the nose, exhale, take the head up, take the shoulders up, the arms and the legs. If you don't feel comfortable lifting those legs, don't. It's about that lovely stretch here. You can hold it here, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale and take it down, relax the shoulders, relax the arms, go again. Tummy muscles are contracted, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, take the head, arms, shoulders and legs, hold it here and breathe for me. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale and take it down, nice and slowly, wiggle the bum from side to side, we'll go one more time. Draw in those abdominals, breath in, head, shoulders, arms and legs, now close your eyes and visualise this stretch, point your toes away from the body. Hold it here, feel that spine work. Now draw those fingers back. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and take it easy. Look, happy to stretch back into child's pose. Good, for those of you at home, well done, give that back a stretch. Okay, I'm just gonna throw in a cheeky little runner's lunge here. So you're just going to take that leg out, okay, so you can modify by just being down on the knee or you can lift up, it's entirely up to you, okay, so you can come up, all right, and stretch through. Now I like to, to the hand that's back is the hand that's going to move, okay, so we're going to take this arm and then we're just going to turn, lift that knee up and I want you just to give it a good old stretch. Now you can modify by taking the knee down, breathe in and then breathe out and then we're going to go on the other side. So here's the modification, so it's the arm, the leg that's back is the arm that's going to move. So you just turn and you face me. And if you want to intensify that stretch, take it up. Give it a good old stretch through the hips there. Breathe in and then breathe out and then take it down. Take it into a counter stretch and then hip stretch. You're going to come forward, you're on the knee, okay? So take a cushion on your towel and just come, come forward. And then I just want you to stretch, okay, so you're getting that nice hip flexor stretch, and then the palms come together, and then we just stretch here, now you can stay here, it's absolutely fine, if you want to, the leg that's back, you're just going to grab it for me, and you're going to hold it here, take a deep breath, inhale, and then exhale, come back, now watch, you're going to stretch that hamstring, so you're going to come back, again, I'm not particularly flexible, but that toe is flexed, and then you can feel that lovely stretch, you come on to the other side, so take it up, come on my left foot now, just bringing my knee over my ankle, and then I'm just giving it a good stretch, 
breathe in, take those palms together, breathe out, hold it here. Now, do you want to intensify the stretch? You can take that leg, take it up, hold it there. Breathe in, breathe out, take it down, and then take it back. Give it a stretch there, or come up. Again, I'm a bit more flexible on this side. Okay, so from here, come into a seated position. We are nearly finished. I'm just gonna work these abdominals. Not that we haven't worked them already. So, I want you to sit up, I want you to pretend you've got a crown on your head, and your shoulders are back and your palms are together. So you're sitting upright, your chin is gently tucked in towards the chest, and I really want you to think about through the psyche, through your coccyx, sitting up. Now, from here, you're gonna breathe in, breathe out, and I want you just to make a C-shape with the spine as you come through. And again, a lot of you have said to me, you find it difficult to come down. So just bend the knees, breathe in, breathe out, take it overhead, give it a stretch. Now make an arch with the back, take a deep breath, inhale, Exhale, tilt that pelvis, and then just come all the way up. Go again, breathe in, breathe out, take it all the way down, and take it over. Go again, breathe in, breathe out, come forward, and this time I want you to reach over, like you're reaching over a tree, a tree trunk or a bush, and you're going to come up. And then C shape with the spine, take it over, all the way over. Take a deep breath, imprint that spine in towards the mat. And we exhale as we come up. Well done, we've just got two left. Breathe in, so we come up. Breathe out, take it down. Give it a stretch. Well done, breathe in. Breathe out, so for you, those of you that want to modify, I don't care how you get up, as long as you get up. That's the difference about not being able to see you in the studio. You can do what you want, you can cheat, it's fine. I'm not here to judge as long as you are moving. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, take it forward and give it a stretch. All right, now we're gonna come halfway. You're gonna bend those knees for me. And this is where you can use your cushion or your towel. If you've got a ball at home, you can use that as well. And I want you just to all just to challenge these abdominals. So you're making a C shape with the spine, your shoulders in the back, your feet are flexed, okay? So I just want you just to come over the knees and then we're just gonna come slightly back, not all the way. So we just come over and then take it back. Now, if you wanna make it harder, it's a small move, okay? Nice, small move. So you just got eight of these left. So we've got eight and then back. So you're making the C shape with your spine, seven. And back, you can take the feet down as well. Not a problem. I prefer to keep my feet flexed because that enables me to work the stomach levers a bit more. Four left, hold on. Three, so you're at level 10 now. Two, level 10. Last one, now you're just gonna stay here. Now watch, if you wanna stay here, you can. Or you can take those arms away, shoulders are back, hold it here for 10, nine, can you lift those arms? Eight, seven, don't worry if you can't, six, hold on to your abs, five, four, three, two, one, and come forwards and give it a little stretch out through that back. Just crossing the legs over, come up, and then cross them the other way and give that back an equal stretch out. Okay, so we're going for another set here. So palms are together. Can you come down a little bit further for me this time? So this time, I'm gonna give you modifications here for 20. 19, so if you wanna make it harder, 18. Can you see, I'm not making you come down 17. It's a very small movement here, 16. I'm holding on to what's called my transverse abdominus. 15 which you'll basically sit underneath your lower abdominals. 12, and if you may want to make it harder, 11, I am not pulling on my neck. 10, just being aware of my next position though, nine. Eight, my abs are at level 10. Seven, and I'm really pulling them in. Six, so each of those vertebrae, five in my lumbar, sacroiatic part of my spine, four, and getting a little moment here. Three, breathe. Two, last one. One, now we hold it here. 
Can you lift those palms up for me? Can you hold it? Can you make it a little bit harder by lifting those legs up? 10, 9, 8, I'm shaking to 7, 6, three, five, four, three, two, one. Take it forward, give your knees a hug. Well done. Okay, so we've just got one more set of these left to do. I'm just going to give you another 20. So if you just want to do this one, it's absolutely fine. Make sure those abdominals are drawn in and just taking it up and down, okay? 90. Again, you can take it to here. 80. 70. Or here. 16. But I don't want you bringing those elbows in. 15. Those elbows must be back. 14. Out of your peripheral vision. 30. 12. Breathe. 11. So you're looking straight ahead. 10. I'm holding on. 9. Eight, I hope you are too. Seven, breathe. You've got six left. And then you've done 50. Five, genius. Four, breathe. Three, breathe. Two, last one. One, now hold it here for me for ten. Nine, eight, can you lift those arms? Seven, can you lift the legs? Six, you don't have to. Five, four left. Three, two, one, don't collapse down, come forwards, breathe in, breathe out and gently just roll down through the spine now. And then just give me a little roll like a ball, so just taking your hands, no pushing, no forcing anything, just give that little spine a stretch out, chin on top of the chest, and just give me a few rolls here. Okay, take that head all the way down, just going to move this top, and then I just want you to take your feet together, and then I want you just to grab your hand back to your bed, let your feet go. And then just take those knees from side to side, just to give that lower back a good old stretch. And if you've had a really hard day, you'll definitely feel this part of the spine. Reach in towards the chest and give it a little roll again. Head is down. And then the head comes back. And then I want you just to take your toes together, take your hands on top of your calves. And then just come over, right the way over and really just give in this, give yourself a little second on this one, I love this one, I don't think you can do enough of these to be honest, right the way over, so you're coming over towards me, let the shoulders relax, no right or wrongs to this one, okay so we're just going to finish off with some abdominals now, you're going to take your toes down like you've got them dipped in water, your feet are hip distance apart, your thumbs are in the nape of the neck, you're just going to hold on with your chin. You're looking straight up. The chin is nice and soft. And we're just going to push up, not too high. So what you're doing is you're taking the top half of your scapula off the mat. Okay, the bottom part can remain on the mat. But you're not bringing your head all the way down. Can you see? I'm hardly using any of the weight of my neck or my skull into my hands. But if you need to, then do. 15. Your abs are in at level 10. Draw those abdominals in, 11, 10 left, 9, you've got 8 left, hold on, 7, shoulders back, 6, breathe, you've got 5, 4, breathe, 3, now can you hold it here, 2, and just give me some pulses at the top, little pulses for 20, 90, 80, bring that chin gently into the chest, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 12, breathe, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, and I want you to hold it, 5, 4, 3, 2, static hold it, 10 seconds, hold it here for 9, 8, so look, I'm not coming through my neck, 7, I'm making it all go here, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, take it down, relax, well done, working those abs, okay, so we are just going to finish off with the 100, everyone knows the 100, but this is a modified 100, this is the Susie's Pilates 100, so I'm going to give you different options, okay, so your first one is your one foot can be down, I'll show you the, the one footed one, but the rest of you, you can take your legs all the way in towards the air, but I'm going to show you the modification, so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that there's no arch in the lumbar part of the spine. You're going to tilt that pelvis in towards the mat. The abdominals are drawn into level 10. 
Take a deep breath, inhale, take the chin on top of the chest and just hold it here. Now take that leg slightly so it comes over the hips and hold it for 10, breathe, nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, so your palms are down, five, reaching long and low, four, three, two, and one. Now just give me a pulse for 50, 49, 40, 48, so your modification, 47, 46, is to lift the both legs, so I'm doing the lower one today. 44, 43, and if your neck is getting sore, take the neck down as well, but keep drawing those abs in, keep going at level 10, keep those abs drawn in, 28, 27, so this is modification, 26, 24, 23, 22, 21, now look down in between your legs towards your tummy navel, 80, 70, 16 left, 50, 40, 13, I've got a slight gap, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 between my chin and chest, 7, 6, 5, but I'm not pulling through my vertebrae in my neck, 4, 3, 2, 1, now can you bring that knee in towards the chest, if you're taking it on that lower level and just hold it here for me, for 10 seconds hold it, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, take it down, well done, relax. Okay, so we're going on to the other leg. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, take that leg up. Now watch, you're gonna take your palms up towards the ceiling. Take your breath in, inhale, exhale, chin on top of the chest, hold it here, but it's loose. So I'm holding, I'm not pulling through my neck for 10, nine, my abs are in, eight at level 10, seven, six, breathe, five, four, and I'm just gonna bring that knee in a little bit, three, two, one, now turn those palms down towards the corners of your mat. Give you those pulses, 50, nine, breathe, eight, 47, six, 45, so don't hold your breath. 43, hold it here, two, 41, 40, 39, 38, seven, 36, 35, four, 33, breathe, two, 31, you just got 30, 28, 27, 26, 24, 23, 22, 21, you just got 20 left now, 80, 70, 16 left, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, get ready to hold, last exercise, 8 and stretch, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, now hold it here, just hold it for 10, 8, 6, 4, two and one take it down well done you are finished take it back just cross that right leg over the left take your right hand and push it towards the wall really important that you do this nice stretch for the hips and the tummy and take it back and go the other way cross it over take that hand into the fold of the knee push it away give it a stretch okay we're going to just intensify that stretch so you're going to take it over and you're going to sew those hands through take that foot up and flex this foot Give it a stretch here. You can bring the chin on top of the chest, but we are turning this body off now. Exhale, take it onto the other side, so that arm through, foot is flexed. Well done, good workout today. Good all over body workout. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. And I want you just to roll all the way up for me. You're gonna do exactly the same stretch. So your arms are back, and then you're just gonna cross that one leg over. And then you're just gonna push. Actually, I prefer to use the opposite side. And then the other way. Take it over and push. Now our feet are together. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale and take it forward towards me. Where you can, you go where you feel you can. Don't force it. Breathe in and then roll those hands up through the tops of the thighs. We're gonna go one more time sitting up. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, can you come a bit further forward for me because you're nicely stretched out. Breathe in, breathe out, take it back, take it to one side, give it a stretch. Take it to the other side, give it a stretch. Take those shoulders back a few times, take them forwards and give yourselves a clap. Well done, thanks for joining me and I'll see you all soon. Please don't forget to like and share this with as many friends as you can. Susie's Pilates and donations also truly appreciate it. Thank you.